Hey everyone, Matt Lanford here with primary and secondary. We're gonna shoot some pistols today. We're gonna shoot a lot of pistols. Yeah, we are. It's gonna be fun. Lots of pistols and fun and reloading and yeah, I think it's gonna be it's a lot of America. It's a lot of America, just yeah. like my shirt. Yeah. So basically what we do is we have all these different pistols and we have a bunch of different shooters and a bunch of different drills. And add it all together, we, we get science. Yeah, so this is the whole point of our collab, right? On in range, we're doing one with a bunch of 308 rifles. Yep. We did a bunch of battle rifles, and here on primary and secondary, we're gonna do a bunch of pistol work. Yep. And so with consistent drills, with a whole bunch of different shooters, getting the times in aggregate, and then turning that into an actual number at the end should give us a graphable type of piece of information about how these guns perform, not for you, not for me, but in general, amongst yep. a wide swath of different types of shooters. Yep. I think it's a very interesting analytical analysis. Yeah. And also the way the stages are set up, we don't have anything that's going to be overly precise. We, we're not we're not shooting sniper rifles, we're shooting pistols here. So the furthest we're going to be shooting is 15 yards, and the closest we're going to shoot is 15 yards. Um, I, I'm excited to see the results on this. I have a, an inkling that some guns are going to do far better than the others. There will be some that are going to be painted orange for our safety. Mm -hmm. Um, so in case they blow up, we know that one will blow up. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a good indicator for the shooters and Fair. also for everyone that's going to be here, uh, observing. Cause we have an entire staff here. We have, uh, an executive secretary here. Uh, he's basically documenting anything, everything. We'll have footage of this, uh, along with professional photography, videography staff and professional loaders. So it's, it's very professional. I find this very interesting because, you know, when we talk about rifles, the ergonomics and the difference between different rifle designs, there can be some really extreme elements there, like a bullpup versus a G3. Yeah. These are different worlds. Yeah. But when it comes to pistols, especially modern pistols, it's all kind of the same thing, isn't it? I mean, it is. you got a hammer, you got a strike, you got DA, you got SA. Those yeah. are your big differences. And where the mags, where, where the mags go, it's, it's going in the grip. It's not going anywhere else except for one. Wow. And that, that one will go over later. Fair enough. But yeah. 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 But I mean, when it comes down to it, the ergonomics are the same. There's yep. a trigger in the same place. Generally speaking, there's probably not a safety with most of the modern designs. I'm sure you're going to have some with safeties on yep. them. Um, magazines go in the same area. I mean, it's all kind of the same thing. It's like, if they all just took Glock mags, would we notice a difference? I doubt it. I, that's well, I think that's what we're going to find out with this kind of information that we're trying to gather here yeah. now. So we'll have different sizes of pistols. So we're basically going to have some more concealed types, uh, duty style, uh, higher capacity, limited capacity, maybe even a reloader or a re, uh, revolver or two. Additionally, we will have double action, single actions, single action and striker fired. And I did that multiple times on the same finger. So mm -hmm. that's good. So let's go with the first drill. Sounds good. So this first drill is at uh, 15 yards. 15 yards. Go figure. So what we got here is we've got a steel plate behind us and the pistols are all gonna start from the table actually at low ready. Yes. You're gonna be loaded with one magazine of three rounds, yep. aiming at a cone at low ready. That takes out any type of auxiliary gear, holsters, any of that kind of stuff that can mess up with the data what you're trying to acquire, which is the yes. pistol. And there's one magazine of three sitting on the table. You're going to add buzzer, engage the steel with three hits, drop the mag, get the mag off the table, reload, three more hits. Yep. And we're going to do that with a whole bunch of people. So why don't you demonstrate? I'm looking forward to it. Cool. And for the purpose of this, we're not going to bother with a timer. And of course, it's good that you have your dot ready. There we go. People don't like that. I just... Like so.
I'm ready. <laughs> Stand by. About 20 mics, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by. Those shots were on the exact same hole. Nine point four eight. Seven three seven clean. Okay, boss. Four point seven three.
Yeah, because I don't shoot DAs at mm -hmm. all. District attorneys? Stand by. Oh, the safety's on. Uh, we'll start over. Welcome to Beret. But that doesn't happen, I heard. <laughs> Except on the, on the clock. Not on the G models. Ready? No, it doesn't. Ready? Stand by. <laughs> 